Hey there, everybody. Good morning. It is time for another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Today, we're going to talk about what role hope plays in having a successful business. Stay tuned. Oops, wrong button. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. I wish there was a way to get the music to fade a little better than that. Anyway, whatever. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership. Uh, hey, listen, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, whether you're watching on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or listening on your favorite podcast catcher, this thing is everywhere, man. Do me a favor, leave a comment. Let me know uh, that you're here, name and where you're watching from. That would be awesome. And then you can be held in as high esteem and regard as Joe, who has already joined the ranks of those who have done that. Good morning, Joe. Thank you for being here this morning. All right, so my tease this morning when we came in was the role that hope, what role does hope play in uh, a successful business? So, you know, as as we think about this idea, and I'm going to start talking about this. I may even run this as a theme all week next week, but we are all business owners to some extent, right? We all have capital in the form of time that we can use in order to create revenue when if, you know if you have a job you're trading time from for a salary if you have a business you're spending your time and other resources and hopefully leveraging other people's time talent resources in, in order to generate revenue so th- this really applies to everybody and i want to really start exploring that next week so that's be sure and, and tune in next week and share this with the people in your, in your network that could benefit from this. I want to start really exploring this idea of how we, how we use business ownership to create the life that we crave. That's what I want to talk about. All right. So what role does hope play in business ownership? At the very least, at the very least, I would rather be hopeful than hopeless. Okay. So at the very least, I don't, I don't want to be left with no hope. So I'll have some hope, right? That's the minimum. That's the bar. And that dude, that's the bar like laying on the ground. If we really set the bar higher, hope, and this is the difference between hope and everything else that we experience. We might have a dream. We might have a craving. We might have a wish or a desire, but all of those things, all of those things kind of pale in comparison to hope. And why is that? Well, hope stimulates some emotions in our mind that have an impact on the rest of our body. I mean, think about it. We've seen, we've all seen pictures of, um, you know, these the the unemployed people, unemployed men during the the depression, how they walk around slumped over. It affected their physiology, right? But when you're full of hope, man, your shoulders are back, you're open, you're happy, and you are running toward that uh, that that outcome that you see right now hope does imply that there is a, that there is a um a less than desirable state that you're in and the the interesting thing about this is that as a culture as a society we've decided at some point that it's okay to just complain but not take any responsibility for making a change. And that's something that has to change. That's one of the big reasons I'm such an advocate of business ownership and what it can do to pull you out of this hopeless state. Right? You t- I mean, one of the things that leads to hopelessness is this lack of control or a perceived lack of control. I've got no control over my life. I can't do anything to change the outcome. It's just... It's predetermined, you know, whatever, uh, or somebody else is in control. I just have to sit here and take it, right? That's letting life happen to you. 
But the reality is, that's what a lot of people believe, but the reality is our choices create control. And even, you know, Mel Robbins does a great job talking about this in her book, uh, The Five Second Rule, right? And how through a, a, a whole series of events that went on in her life, she was was left hopeless and without feeling like she didn't have any control. So the one thing in her life that she could control was the alarm clock. And she started with that. Right. And then went on from there. If you hadn't read that book, that's an awesome read. The five second rule by Mel Robbins. So take whatever you can take control of whatever you can begin from there and then expand that so that you can begin creating the life that you crave. The more and, and hope is like momentum. The more you get, the more it builds and it grows exponentially, not linearly. We'll talk about that some more also. Hey, Abby, good morning to you. Joe says some I, some individuals rather identify according to their job. Oh, I like this. We are so much more and learning how to become our best is a journey. How many are ready for, for that depth? I, that's a pretty good one, Joe. I like that one a lot. Hey, Matthew, good to see you here with us on Instagram. So I, 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 I think you're a hundred percent correct. When we identify, and look, this happens a lot, so much so that there's a whole industry around this, that when, when companies have layoffs, they have companies that they call in to help the, help their employees deal with the, uh, the job loss and the potential loss of identity and, and, and all that. I will, we'll, we'll peel that onion a lot more, uh, as, as we kind of get into this, especially next week, but, but that's a choice. And that's really what I want to leave you with today, right? Being hopeful is a choice. It starts with a choice, and then the more you do it, and the more you experience it, the more positive results you get, the more momentum builds, and the easier it gets. And hope, hope has a positive impact on your physiology, right? And equally, your physiology can affect your hope. So if you are feeling hopeless, go outside, walk around, the building, throw your shoulders back. Well, I'm in charge of the next five minutes and start there. All right. That's it for today. I hope that was helpful. If it was, be sure to give it the old thumbs up, the hearts, the likes, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching. And remember next week, we're going to start talking about unpacking this idea about uh, using business, whether it's full-time gig, side hustle, but, but using business as a mechanism of control to create hope and the life and lifestyle that you crave. So we're, we'll unpack that a lot more next week. Be sure and join us for that. If you or someone you know benefit from that, be sure and share this with them. Now, I also, thanks to Joe, would like to ask, what is your opinion of hope? I've given you my opinion of hope today. What does it mean to you? Do you Have you found yourself in a hopeless state? What did you do to get out of it? Do you find that hope builds on hope, that the more you experience it, it's like momentum and it begins to grow? Whatever um, your experience with that has been, I would love to hear about it in the comments. Do uh, be sure to share that because not only does it help you, it helps me. It helps the whole community. All right, that's it for today. You guys have a uh, fantastic Thursday. Today's Thursday. That means uh, be thankful. Um, oh, I like that. I moved to Dallas when I was stuck in a dark place in New York. I hear you. Been been there myself. <laughs> and sometimes that change of perspective, that change of scenery, gives you a whole new perspective, doesn't it? Right where. All this history that lives in this particular spot is suddenly gone just by moving to a new location. All right, now I'm really wrapping up. Thursday, be thankful for something. Tell somebody you're thankful for them. Give them a hug. Tell them you love them. I uh, will be back here again tomorrow. To, let's see, today's Thursday, right? That means tomorrow's Friday, free coaching Friday. Be sure to leave your question, comment, or topic that you would like for me to tackle tomorrow in the comments, and I will get to that tomorrow. Be here tomorrow, same time, same place. Talk to you then.